Aaron Burnett out front. Weeknights at 7, only on CNN. George Zimmerman pulled over by police in Texas. His crime speeding. CNN has just obtained dash cam video of the incident which took place on Sunday afternoon in the town of Forney, Texas. Uh, you're looking here from the officer uh, point of view. From the officer's comments, it's clear the driver of the truck had a firearm in the vehicle. Uh, I'm going to go back and just check you uh, routinely. Your reason to your stop is for your speed, okay? Why don't you slow down a little bit for me? And uh, as long as you don't have any warrants, we'll give you a cut later in the morning, okay? Just take it easy. Just don't play. Go ahead and shut your glove compartment. And don't play with your firearm, okay? Okay. Just go ahead and stay right here. I'll be right back with you. Zimmerman hasn't been in contact with his defense team since Friday when he was still in Florida, but after viewing the video, a spokesperson said, quote, it's probably George. David Mattingly is out front. As you know, he's been covering, uh, he covered the entire trial, and now, now looking at this, George, what was George, uh, sorry, David, what was George Zimmerman doing in Texas? Well, we've talked to people who are closest to him, and they're not saying at all, and they're pointing out uh, security reasons for that. We got a statement from his family just a short time ago, and it reads, Our family receives innumerable death threats on a daily basis. We all continue to take our security and privacy very seriously and go to great lengths to ensure our safety. And that includes not talking to people about where George Zimmerman is. We also received a tweet from his defense team talking about this. They're saying for his safety, we won't make any comments about Zimmerman's whereabouts, and we will work to protect his privacy. Zimmerman himself was somewhat vague today in talking to the police officer. You could hear some of that exchange on the police video. The officer asked him where he was headed to, and Zimmerman would not give him a firm answer. So, again, security clearly on everyone's mind here for George Zimmerman's whereabouts. And a lot of people, you know, obviously, as you say, might be shocked to know that George Zimmerman has been traveling and traveling with a gun. But, but you know, David, I mean, you've reported on his fears for his own safety, trying to get that permit back. Should we be surprised? Both his family and his defense team have been talking about this almost since the moment of his acquittal, that he was not found guilty of any crime, that he is legally able and and because of the security threats around him, they feel like he not only has the right to, but needs to protect himself, and that means carrying a firearm. Now, this is not the weapon that he used to kill Trayvon Martin. That is in the possession of the Justice Department, along with all the other evidence in this case that has been turned over to that agency for investigation. But right now, uh, George Zimmerman clearly carrying another handgun uh, concerned about his security.